G'day guys, Skunk here. I thought I would do a quick tutorial on the AIM-54 Phoenix for the F-14B. And this is going to be a high level quick tutorial, but we're going to go through how to use the AIM-54 as the pilot and the Rio. I'll have timestamps down at the bottom if you want to jump around, but otherwise, let's get into it. Alright, now that we're in the front of the F-14, there's a couple of things we want to go through before we start using these AIM-54s. First of all, we want to make sure we're in air-to-air -air mode, and then we want to hit the switch here, which gives us the repeater for the Org 9 in the back. This lets us see what the Rio is seeing, and it's great for situational awareness. And as you can see, just has already got two targets on the radar, and what we want to do after that is come up and turn the master arm on. After that, we want to select the Phoenixes, and if we go back down to the repeater, and we'll just hit pause because we're going to talk about the symbology a little bit. The numbers on the left hand side of these targets, don't be confused, they can be the same. Uh, these guys are just at different altitudes. This gives you a rough indication on what altitudes they are at. If they are between 0 and Angels 10, this is going to be a 0. If they're somewhere between Angels 10 and Angels 20, it's going to be a 2. So you can see that these guys are roughly at different altitudes. It can be off by a thousand, two thousand or so. That was why it is kind of a guesstimate, but it gives you a really good situational awareness of what's going on in the battlefield. The next number on the right hand side, coincidentally, are the same numbers, but this can be different again. Uh, these are the priority of each aircraft, and this is something the Org 9 does automatically. The one on the right hand side is obviously priority one. This is the first target uh, our AIM-54 is going to go for. And the two is the second target, obviously. So when we launch an AIM-54, this one is going to change to a time to impact. Give us a rough estimation on how long it's going to take their AIM-54 to travel and intercept this target. Then this is going to change to a priority one because this guy's already been launched on and we can fire again. Once we've fired again, again, this is gonna be a time to impact number. It will count down and give us roughly a estimate on how long it's gonna take. The dashes and the gaps between the dashes are also very useful. These are 20 nautical miles each. So without having to go into too much detail, you can quickly see, okay, this guy is above Angels 10, this guy is around Angels 20 somewhere, and they're both roughly 35, 45 nautical miles away. And what we are going to do is unpause, and we'll see this play out in action. So all we need to do is hold down the trigger for three seconds, and there you go, we have launched our first AIM-54, that's going to go off, and like I said, that priority one has changed to a time to impact number. Now all we need to do is hold down the trigger for another three seconds, and it's going to launch on our second target, changing that priority one to again another time to impact. And there it goes. So we'll cut away and watch these guys intercept. Splash one, and splash two. Look at that, how easy. So that's the real power of the F-14, honestly. The knowledge of not of knowing what's going on with the Org 9, uh, knowing what your Rio's doing and what he can see. This information down here is super, super crucial. Um, and we just, de we just dispatched two aircraft um, with a couple of Phoenixes without doing much. The Org 9 does all the heavy lifting, so Let's jump in the back seat and see how we can do it as the Rio. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing, but in the Rio position. First thing, we want the master arm on, we want to make sure we are in air to air, and then we select our Phoenixes. If you have a live pilot, please make sure he has these things done before you try and fire them off. Alright, jumping into the back now, um, we're going to find these guys kind of manually. We know they're in front of us, so we're not going to focus on it too much. But I'll go to TWS manual, and they should pop up in front of us. There they are. And as you can see, they are two unidentified targets, and the Org 9 has already locked on and prioritized them because we have the Phoenixes selected. 
So we'll do a uh, cheeky IFF just to ensure that yes, that is a enemy, and we'll go into that in a more detailed video another time. But just so we can show that we can change the symbology to match what we saw up front. Now we will switch this other guy to a hostile as well, and we get a launch queue. Again, if we hold that button down and hold it for three seconds, it's going to launch another AIM-54 like it did in the front, and you'll see we get the same symbology as we did in the front. And if you do have a live pilot, it's good to talk about who's going to launch the Phoenixes when you do get into an intercept like this. That way you're both on the same page about who's doing what. With my Rio Ragnar, uh, he launches the Phoenixes and I just concentrate on flying. He basically runs the show in the back seat. Now interestingly, if you misdiagnose a target as a hostile, you can actually go back and mark them as a friendly and it'll take away that launch queue. It'll unprioritize the aircraft and we won't be able to fire on them. Obviously the Org9 doesn't want to fire on uh, friendlies but if we switch back to a hostile we get that launch queue again. So it's super helpful, very smart and makes it a little bit harder to uh, fire on friendlies. And if we mark them as a hostile again we can send another Phoenix his way. And there you go, it's just as easy as that. Hopefully this video has been helpful. In later videos we will go over the Org9 radar in more detail. And it is a very rewarding job. If you have ever thought about being Rio, I highly recommend it. Um, and it will increase your knowledge and um, help you be a better pilot. So until then, thank you very much. We'll catch you next time.